This is the property on Iron Bound Road. It's sitting on way over one acre. It is located right in, off of Ironbound and Route 5. It's on the corner right here by Farm Fresh and uh, close to Target and some other shopping centers. Property is uh, really nice, very well taken care of. They did some upgrades in the property. And I will walk you through. This is the front yard, huge lot with fenced in um, front yard, long driveway. The driveway has some selling cracks, but it's minor. Um, I'm not sure exactly what are the property lines, but definitely it is one of the largest properties around here. It does have two car detached garage with power and uh, looks like it's painted insulated inside, but we'll go back there. They do have some kind of carport in here. They do have another old carport in there, but it goes pretty deep. Um, house has wood siding that is that was replaced recently I guess it looks really good uh, it does have uh, original wood windows that are in great shape it's got a huge covered porch beautiful chimney uh, it's natural stone chimney for a nice decorative piece uh, large front porch let's take a look at the roof Roof looks newer. I'm not sure when it was replaced, but looks newer, a um, couple of years old. And again, everything is in really, really nice condition. So let's get inside. This is actually laminate. This is not stone. When you walk into the family room, there is a large family room, very easy to set up, with also stone fireplace and it's a wood stove so you could uh, use it as a heat source it's got vaulted ceilings with ceiling fan and it walks right into the kitchen the family room is probably about 20 by 14 feet there's your breakfast room and uh, decent kitchen kitchen is in really nice shape it's got uh, good appliances fridge is older and dishwasher is one of those uh, transitional from about 2002-3. Um, stove is stainless steel, so you've got mixed match appliances. There are blinds in all the windows. And this is laminate floor, recently put in, I guess. Carpet is old, but in decent shape, but I think that's something you would like to change eventually. It's one of those high-end carpets from 90s. Water heater is something special. It's um, new, installed in May this year, and it's electronically controlled electric water heater. You do have uh, your panel box on the way to the bathroom. There is a small storage closet with some ducts from the AC. Looks like it was freshly done, so we'll check the AC as well. Then you walk into the um, bathroom. This is a full bath, that's for master bedroom downstairs. Uh, it's got a shower, tub, and dual sink with a large mirror and light fixture up there. And there's a laundry room right in the bathroom. It's a laundry closet, very convenient, right by the master suite. And shower has tiles and they're in good shape they're I think original then you have gray tub that looks like they updated faucet but everything else is original laminate floor also and that's the view from the bathtub so that would be your bathroom and the bedroom is large, it's probably about 16 by 16 feet. It does have uh, three windows and it's got blinds in it. The HVAC unit is gas, so it's gas heat. I don't know when it was replaced, but we'll take a look at it in a few minutes. It does have a decent closet, but it's not walk-in. 
and then you go back to the family room from this side. So this is the uh, f only one full bathroom in the house. It feels very nice and cozy. It's small, but it's really nice. And there is one more bedroom upstairs, but there is no bathroom. It feels nice and cool in here. And that is your separate second bedroom, probably about 12, 13 feet by about 15, 16, with double window, closet, and some. Uh, storage in the eaves and that is the view from the upstairs and staircase so let's take a look on the outside again at the, at the HVAC unit this is the uh, greatest screen import I've ever seen. It's huge. It is about 30 feet, probably maybe even more, 30, 35 feet long by about, uh, let me see, by about 15, 16 feet wide. Uh, all the screens are in good shape. Everything looks great. It's very well taken care of. Um, it's a beautiful place. So for entertaining, it's, it's amazing. Uh, it does have two ceiling fans. Ceiling fans will need some work because they are not rated for the outside, so the blades are a little sagging. But or not, everything is in great shape. So let's take a look at that HVAC unit again. That's your side view, your garage. So let's take a look at the garage first. Garage has window AC unit. It's good to have when you're doing some work and it's a huge storage space and it can park easily two cars and it's got still plenty of room uh, it's got some workbenches and it's a guy's dream definitely a good selling point that is the uh, AC it's got a separate circuit breaker panel really nice place extremely nice place Go back to the front and go to that HVAC unit. It does have a whole house generator. It is a gas generator and also has a gas, uh, we call it heat pack. It's a gas, uh, heat, and, eight, and uh, AC in one. Uh, looks like it's a couple years old, not too old, but I cannot determine exactly. I'm not a HVAC professional, so it's a couple of years old uh, it would have to be serviced and to determine how old it is and uh, they'll give you all the information and again a lot goes deep there is a little church that has a parking lot right next door so on Sundays you'll see some cars passing by but that is all